<laughs> I'm messing with you, man. I planted it while ago. For Are you, you serious? Yes. Are you serious? <laughs> I am. I'm just messing with you. Well, I'm back out on the road again today. I didn't have to go into work, and uh, Hunter called me up. And in my last video at the very end, we talked about, I showed you in the video about this house that we were trying to get. Well, we got permission today to hunt that and one across the street. And uh, we got a couple of more, at least one more after that. We may not get to that one uh, right today, but uh, we'll get it on this video. But anyway, I'm headed out. I've got about a 30 minute drive to get up there to meet Hunter. And I'm hoping that this house pays off. You ever had one of those feelings where you just look at a house and you're like, that's going to be really good. Well, sometimes it works out and it's really good. And other times it works out and it's just nothing there at all. But I just got one of those feelings that this is a good house. It's in historic area. Uh, we found a lot of coins in that area. So uh, hopefully this house is going to work out and be very good. I'm uh, praying that it is. But anyway, when we get there and uh, we get something good, we'll put the camera on it. We'll show it to you. So until then, just sit back and enjoy the show. I just talked to Hunter in the back and this is the house right here. Let me turn you around. This is the house that we're doing. Tax roll says it's 1950s, but uh, the homeowners say it's early 1900s, which I believe is 1920s, 1930s, based up on the rafters. So who knows? These kind of houses may pay off really good, may not find much at all, but it sure does look good. I got that good feeling about it. So uh, let's get in there. Let's see what we can find. What do you think? We gonna find something? Barber. A barber. All right. You heard him. He said barber. Let's see if we can get one. Show you guys my detector setup. Y'all seen them in my boxes before. But uh, here's another thing that I added in here. I've got a very heavy duty power charger. And it's going to my headphones. It's going to my detector. It's going to a battery on my detector. And plus when my phone goes down, I can put it right here. So every time I'm through detecting, I just hook everything back up and as it's going down the road, it's charging. So you may want to think about that. You don't have to bring it into the house. And these things lock up like that. And when I close my tailgate, you can't uh, get in at all. If they tore through this, they still can't get through this tough thing here. So very protected. All right, enough talk, let's get to swing. Well, I hope you can hear me. I'm out here beside this uh, boring machine down there, boring underneath the road here on the sidewalk. It's getting a real jumpy 24, 27, 31. Didn't know what it was, so I just decided to dig it anyway. Popped it up, and it's something. I haven't looked at it good. Let's look at it together. You can see it right there in the dirt. Could be a dog tag. It could be see any riding on it. Eh. It's some form of necklace, but it's old. There's nothing that I can see. Maybe some riding right there. I think it's there. Yeah, it says mom. Can you see that? I think it says mom. It's monogrammed or Macy. Come here when you see it. Right there. It says Macy, I think. Let me clean it up and see and come back to you and see what this says. Okay, not Macy, it's gonna say Mary. Mary. 
All right, that's the first little relic out of here. Let's keep going. Maybe I'm in a spot. Let's see what we can get. On my last find, you couldn't. I just had to do it solid because I was just 10 feet away from that machine, and uh, so uh, got that 20. What was it? A 20? 23. A 23 Merc. And then Hunter just called me over, and he's right here in the front yard, and he got a 1908 V nickel. Hey, we're getting into some old stuff. I dug a 1913 Weedy earlier, 1908 V nickel. We're in barber age, man. Barber, we're in barber period. Oh yeah. I got a Merc, so now I know that we're in the date range that we're going to get us a, we're going to get us a barber for the day's over. Oh, Hopefully. Yeah. All right, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Let's keep swinging. Well, brother, you missed one. Swinging up a 3637. Believe it or not. Check this out. I just dug it right here out of the sidewall. It fell down. Is this going to be a? I was hoping it's going to be a. Uh, a uh, big one, 36, 37, but it's, really, it's, just a, it's, it's just a Merc dime. A 36? 37. About eight inches deep. Wow. Was it faint or pretty obvious? It was It was obvious, but it was faint, though. 1924. 1924. Oh, my God. Man, you missed it, brother. You gave it to me. Thank you so much. Could be a token. Let me clean it up and see what this is. Yeah, it was a token. It's one of those old uh, customized good luck tokens. Uh, it sells Thelma, McPherson, and wife or something like that. I don't really know. I hope you can hear me with the road and the wind blowing out here. Let me see if I can cover some wind up. But uh, yeah, there's the horseshoe right there. Got something on the back right there. I can't read it. I need to get Hunter up here to read it for me. Maybe you can read what that is. Souvenir token. I find these from time to time at the old homesteads. I'm glad I was able to straighten it out. I like I collect these. I've got quite a few of them. So all right, let's get a picture. And we got another house. Hunter's right down there. I think we're gonna go across the street and hit that house right over there. So let's get a picture of this and let's keep on rolling. Well, we moved over here to this other house. It's an early 1900s house too. I hope you can hear me with all this wind. It's starting, it gets cold in Texas and windy and, and hot and all in between. But I got a 2627 
and it uh, looks like some type of uh, maybe a school medal or something check this out yeah just uncovered it I think I hit it with my shovel it's old though it's right here on the side of the road let me clean that up and let's get a better picture of it Yeah, it's gonna be like a track medal. Maybe first place, it's got a little gold to it. Well, I got a whole display of these track medals, so I'll add that to my collection as well. There we go, guys. Check that out. Nice little track medal. Let's get a picture, let's keep on rolling. Let's get a solid 25. I actually dug this up and couldn't find it. Went down and got that medal and came back and dug this up again. And uh, this time I went ahead and fetched it out of the hole. Who hasn't dug one of those? Model T Ford hubcap. I got a collection of those, so I'll put that in the collection. All right, we're getting out of daylight, so let's keep on rolling. Well, we're back over here where I found that uh, Barber half dollar, and we found uh, some V-nickels and stuff in the same yard. We're going to go come back, and we're just kind of re-hitting the same yards over, and we got another house on the corner we did, what, several months ago maybe it was last year sometime so we're just kind of going over as the saying is there's you know a place is never hunted out a yard's never hunted out so we're going to see if that's true hunter went back over the yard that we hunted uh earlier in this video and uh, ended up finding a uh, king edward the seventh uh coin uh, uh, it's some type of coin that was into a bracelet or something like that but i'll show that to you at the wrap up but anyway we're back here we're suited up we're going to get out and see what we can find so let's get at it what do you want to find today SLQ, or S another barber half out oh, here. Either one. one. Hey, I'll <laughs> take anything. I'll take anything. Let's just see what we find. Let's, Let's get go. at it. I'm over here on this side of the truck. Hunter's on the other side. He hates it when I go over where he's already detected and I find something. So before he got here, I planted a, a Franklin half dollar. He's over there looking for it. I was trying to get him to get on it, but I'm going to go over there and dig it up and I'll look at his reaction. So let's see what he does. Check that out. About six inches deep. You want to stick? You want to dig it? Or you want me to dig it? No, go ahead. This is where you were at, man. If I come over here and dig another coin where you wanna, dug, I, I just want to listen to it. You said there's nothing in on this filled-in dirt. <laughs> That's all you, brother. What do you think? It's trash? I think it's going to be something. Here, you, you film. We're going to live dig this, lens. huh? Use your finger over the lens. Looks clear. All right. Right there. You're ready to see the world's prettiest half dollar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> you just went by this. Look at that. What do you think it is? Gosh, I'm going to come digging behind you every time. Because you leave me a good crumb of good silver. That is a... What is that? Franklin Half Dollar. 1954. Wow. Another one. My second half dollar out of here. You know what? I'm going to dedicate this dig to you. <laughs> I'm messing with you, man. I planted it a while ago for Are you, you guys. Are you serious? Yes. Are you serious? <laughs> I am. I'm just messing with you. That's a lesson learned. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm just messing with you. Oh I want to have God. fun on my video. So there you go, man. Got a Franklin half. How about that? Oh, if that was real, you would have been... Yeah. If that uh, was a if that I, was a real dig, I still don't believe he you. would be pacing this yard all up and down, beating himself up. Like, Tomorrow, why did I miss that? Why did I miss that? I was so. pacing it over at the other house for the next day in the <laughs> rain. No, I was messing man. with you. That's why I was asking you, you know, when you're coming here. So... All right, ma'am. Planted it before I got yeah, here. Yeah, <laughs> we had our fun. Let's go. Let's go get serious now. See if we can find something left what over. What would have been bad is if I've dug mine all along. Oh, I wasn't gonna do that to you. All right, let's move on.
1920 it's about four to six inches that's going to be a Indian head we dug one out not far from here so either it's going to be an Indian or it's going to be a stinking Lincoln a zinkin stinking zinkin let's see what it's going to be hopefully it's going to be an Indian they weren't very deep the other day over here let's see Nope, I think that's just going to be a piece of trash. All right, let's keep going. Well, we moved on to this house. We've detected this before, several months ago. I uh, didn't find too much out here, but we're just going back over yards that we have uh, have hit already, just to see if we can find anything else that we might have missed. Uh, the other house that we were at was just on down the road that way. And then that's the house we hit on the last video and across the street, you know, we're all right here in the same area. So we're gonna see what we can find here and uh, good, bad or ugly, this is gonna be it. And we're gonna do a wrap up after this and we'll show you everything that we got. So let's get to swinging. Well, it's getting a 22, 21, jumping up and down. And uh, I think it's just gonna be canned slaw and trash. It's all I've been digging out of here. Pop this up, it's a big old round disc. About the size of a large scent. Check this out. Oh, that's just going to be part of a clock. I can see the serrated edges on the on it. Oh, I was thinking it's going to have a good coin or a token here. Just going to be part of a clock. Yeah, I see all the the gears on the edge there. All right, let's just keep on going. I was getting a 28 signal. That's going to be a that's going to be an old one. It looks old. Yeah, it's gonna be old. And I did. I I went over my detector. And then I just did this. I just wiped it off with my pinpointer. And that's how shallow it was right there. That is a worn out. It's probably a 1920 or so. Maybe. Mercury dumb. Worn out mercury dumb. Let's see if it's a 1916D. I can't believe it's just sitting on top of the ground. I've been digging cloud dimes for the last hour. All right, I'll let you do the honors since you got better vision than I do. Uh, 1920 for sure. 1920? I can't get over how it's just on top of the ground. Get some of this holy water. Oh, man, be careful. I think I can walk on water now. I think it's 21 or 24. 1921, 24. Let me wipe it dry. That's crazy. That's just absolutely we crazy. We this place, and you know it's hunted out. It's never hunted out. I can't believe that. Sitting on just uh, underneath the dirt. Well, let's get a picture and let's keep on I going. I think I might have dropped that a few minutes ago. 1922. 22. All right, let's keep on swinging. Oh, I like finding silver, but I don't like finding silver like that because when you just scrape the pinpoint across the top and it's an 027 mercury dime, I know a lot of people ain't gonna believe that, but just right beside this, check this out. There's my plug, and then right beside it, I got another 21 signal, and look, there you go. See, it was a legit dig. You got two old pieces of, you got a relic and a coin right here in the same, uh, spill and this one even still has a, it's still shiny check that out all right let's keep on checking see there may be something else out here the hunters right up there through the fence i decided to come down this uh sidewalk strip we never hunted this before we never hunted in the backyard either and i was getting like a 34 35 and i lost the signal over there still hunting that one then i got a 28 over here and just uncovered it and it's another one of those old mercs Check that out. 19. That's a that's a single digit. Let's uh let's get some holy water out and let's uh spray that one down and see if we can uh find what date that might be. Since that's a single digit, I don't want to rub that one. Could be a 1916. 
1917, what it looks like to me, it's, it's worn out pretty bad. But hey, I'll take that. Let's get a picture and keep going. My time's just about up. Well, we're just fixing to do a wrap up and Hunter showed me this thing and I just cleaned it up for him. And it's some type of copper. Um, with a grandma. If you guys know what that is, comment below. But that's kind of neat. I don't know, I've never seen one of those. It's got kind of a, yeah, it could be an earring, but who would wear a grandma earring like that? <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's got like a some sort of attachment. Yeah. All right, well, let's lay it all out. Let's do a wrap up. Well, we made another video. We got a little bit of silver. You got on the board one silver, which was a cool silver. Mm -hmm. We'll show that to you. We didn't live dig it. Uh, he, Hunter found that the other day when I wasn't with him, uh, but found it at the same house that we were digging at. Uh, so we got everything laid out. Let's spin you around. Let's show you what we found. All right, here's Hunter's trash and there's my trash. Lots of trash. We'll go ahead and hit Hunter first. He got him a car. And got him a, what kind of token is that? It's a carnival cruise token. A carnival cruise token. Check that out. That's an oldie, probably in the 80s. He got a couple of more wheat pennies. He didn't bring them all out here. So he's got a couple of wheaties and a flattened penny, which I'm not surprised. We're just 100 yards from a railroad track. And a nickel. We got four quarters, five, 10, 12 dimes, five, 10, 15, 24 pennies. And these are his keepers for the uh, hunt. He got him, a, I don't know if you can tell, that's kind of a grandmother. You can see her right there, her face is kind of bent in. If y'all know what that is, let us know. He got him a nice uh, peacoat button, great seal button, 1902 to present time. And he got him a uh, King Edward the Seventh. Is that a sixpence? Three pence. Three. Got him a three pence, 1902. And we're thinking that may come off of a maybe a, a bracelet because it's got four different things on it. But uh, we missed that one the first day we were over there at the house. But that's a good find though. We dig those in England when we go over there every year. And here's my finds. I got uh, five quarters, I got uh, four dimes, three nickels, and five, 10, 15, 16 pennies. I got six wheat pennies, a harmonica reed. You ever seen one that's shiny? I dug that by that 27 uh, Merc, and, uh, but real shiny. Some type of stopwatch, some property tag. I think some type of button or bell seal, some type of uh, door draw maybe handle thing i don't know what you call that i did get a pocket knife uh maybe it's a buck i'm not sure if i forgot what that shield what type that was got a model t ford hubcap i got a good luck token track and field metal that's probably i would say that could be in the 30s 40s 50s i don't know that could, that's old and then mary ann I don't know if y'all can see her name on the bottom down there. Mary Ann. Personalized little necklace. And then here are my top finds. A 23 Merc. A 24 Merc. A 27 Merc. We've got them out of, out of order there. 27 Merc and a 17. Boy, I just missed that 16 year. So it was a pretty good hunt altogether. What do you say? I like it. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Well, there's all the trash. And there's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can come up and dig at old houses. The greatest treasure is what you can find up in heaven, my friends. Keep searching. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting. And God bless.